Hello all, this is Tarun. Uh, here I am going to show you how to render your footages uh, in 4K with H.264 codec. By default, you can be able to render your uh, footages in 4K in H.264 codec. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, see, I have the 4K footage here. Uh, see, this is uh, in 4K resolution. Um, now I'm creating the right node and I'm, re and I'm rendering into my desktop. Render dot mov. Now I'm going to change the codec as H.264. But when I run this, when I hit OK, the new the new will get crashed. Uh, you can be able to render your uh, 4K videos in H.264 codec. But the same uh, when you try this in latest version of uh, new 13.2 version 5. I am dragging drop the same. I am going the right node. I am going to save to my desktop. When I hit now, uh, it will start rendering for the first time, uh, but but finally it will throw you an error. Actually, it's not rendering. Uh, see, see in desktop there is no render right? so actually it's not rendering. Um, so it's it it throws an error like um, H.264 error. So now I am copying the same and I am rendering in new 14. See, it's showing the same error. So by default, you can be able to render your uh, 4K MOVs uh, in H.264 codec. So uh, let me show you uh, how to render your uh, this image sequence to H.264 codec. Okay, I'm opening my command prompt by going to run and pressing CMD and I'm and I'm hitting enter. I'm just typing ffmp and hitting enter. See, uh, when you type ffmpeg and when you hit enter, you will get all these things. See, I have configured the ffmpeg. Uh, let me show you that uh, how to configure this uh, ffmpeg by end of this video. First, let me show you how to uh, render your image sequence in. Is the 64 codec with it using FFmpeg. Actually, you can do lot and lot of stuff using FFmpeg. Uh, I will cover uh, those things in upcoming videos. First, let me show you uh, how to convert this. Just type as of now, I am clearing this uh, by CLS. First, type FFmpeg space and drag and, drag and drop this to. Sorry, I'm so dragging and drop. I have to. Say the FFmpeg as I have to give the input. So I am giving the flag as minus i. So when I give minus i, it will consider the following uh, string as the input i for input. So I am dragging, dragging and drop this uh, footage. See, actually this is only the folder. Uh, I have to give this image sequence, right? So what I am going to do is. Backward slash. I'm giving the same name. Instead of these four digits, I'm giving as percentage zero four D. So it's four digit right? I have given the input to the FFmpeg, and now. I have to uh, mention the codec. So the video codec should be H.264. And now the video codec should be H.264, right? So minus video codec space H.264. And then I have to give the destination folder. Okay. 
I'm dragging and dropping the same actually for the location I'm I'm drag and dropping the same uh, in the desktop I'm going to save it as aerial shot dot m o v first I'm calling the ffmpeg after I have called the ffmpeg I have to give the input to the ffmpeg so the flag is minus i so I have given the input and then I have to say in which codec it should render so I'm giving minus video minus video codec h.264 and then the destination folder once I have hit enter it will start rendering see um, it's rendering here and also the file has been created as aerial shot dot mob see now the video has been rendered so I'm opening my nuke and I'm dragging drop this to my node graph and viewing this when I switch on the raw data see the both are same right I'm playing this video see now it's playing right uh, this is how we can uh, render your 4K MOV in H.264 codec. Okay, so uh, now how to configure this uh, FFmpeg? Go to your browser and type FFmpeg. Click on download. Here, click on Windows and Windows build from en.dev. And you can click uh, FFmpeg git essential dot seven zip um, actually I have provided the direct link in the description as well as the FFmpeg website you can download it from there so once it has downloaded I'm opening this to my explorer I'm opening this so now, now go to your C drive I'm already using this so I'm going to delete this in C drive, create the new folder as ffmpeg. Open this folder and drag and drop this bin folder. Actually, the uh, bin folder is enough. I actually don't want the standard. Okay, uh, you can also drag and drop this. Okay. Actually, the main thing is you should have this bin folder. Okay. And you click on this bar and you when you type cmd here cmd here will open the command prompt with the location of this bin and you type ffm here it will work here see it's showing the uh, commands and logs of fm mpeg right but normally when you run the command prompt uh, see here the location is uh, inside the ffmpeg but and now but here the location is um, default location right but now when you run the ffmpeg here it will show an error so i have to add this um, so i have to add this location in the environment variable okay when you when you have added this location to the environment variable you can access it from anywhere okay so i am copying this uh, location i'm copying this i'm going to environment variable properties advanced system settings and environment variables in under system variables uh, click on trap edit click on new and paste your ffmpeg location okay click okay 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 I'm closing this I'm closing all of this So now we have added the ffmpeg to the environment variable, right? Now I'm going to run. I'm typing cmd. Then ffmpeg. See, now we got the ffmpeg. So now we can be able to. So now we can be able to uh, use ffmpeg globally. So uh, as of now, I have shown you how to uh, convert this event sequence to a movie in the command prompt. Actually, we can 
integrate this FFmpeg into Nuke. Uh, once I have done that, I will make a separate video for that. Thanks for watching.